Hi, welcome to SIU and your virtual tour of campus. My name's Britt and my fellow tour guides, Alana, Ryan, and Riley will be giving you your tour today. We normally start out over here in the undergraduate admissions office, which is who will be assisting you on your path to becoming a Saluki. Also in this building, the Student Services Building, is the Career Development Center, which can help you with your interviews uh, for jobs and internships, and also will lend you out clothes for those, among other things. Then also in this building, we have the Financial Aid Office, Bursar's Office, Housing Office, among others for you students. Now we'll take the tour outside. Hi guys, we're here at my favorite part of campus. This is Campus Lake. So behind you guys, you can see Campus Lake. And on the other side of that, you're going to see Thompson Point. So Thompson Point is our on-campus housing. That is our West Campus residence halls. That's where freshmen and anyone above that that chooses to, to live in the residence halls is going to live at. On the right, you're going to see some paddle boats. So that's some of the stuff you can do on Campus Lake. We have paddle boats, we have kayaks, we have a trail that goes all the way around Campus Lake. It's about two miles long. Uh, you can run that, you can walk that. On a beautiful day like today, you're going to see a lot of people out walking their dogs, um, running around, just doing stuff to get outside. Um, behind me is the pavilion. So the pavilion is actually going to rent out the paddle boats and the kayaks. Um, behind that is going to be the engineering building. So the engineering building is going to house different engineering majors. And then attached to that is the applied science and art building. So the applied science and art building is going to have stuff like radiological sciences, um, physical therapy assistant, the dental hygiene clinic is also located in there. Mortuary science is also another major that's housed in the applied science and art building. A really cool thing that the Campus Lake does for students is they put on different events. So Light Up the Lake is one that they do here. So they're going to have um, a bunch of stuff behind me like s'mores, um, cookouts, some free giveaways, all that kind of stuff for students moving in on their first weekend here. Now we're here in Old Main, the most historic part here on SIU's campus, from back when we were just a small teaching school. The first building we have over here on my right is Anthony Hall, which houses all of our executive offices, like the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, and the Provost. After that, we have the Allen Building back here, which houses our School of Art and Design on campus. The building straight behind me here is Shryock Auditorium, which is our largest auditorium here on campus. And it's a great place for all of our large ensembles, like the, the Wind Symphony and the Symphonic Band here on campus to perform. Uh, this area here that we're standing in uh, is also home to the Sunset Concert Series, where we bring in bands around a town to come and play, and it's free for the community and students. The next building after that is Altgeld Hall, which houses our School of Music. Uh, it's a great place for all of our ensembles to meet and practice, and a good place to get a little, a little bit of independent practice in, too. All right, now we're on to another main area of campus. Right behind me is Morris Library, and that's got a lot of great resources for students in there. We'll start with Learning Support Services, which is tutoring and academic coaching, and then we also have a writing center for you there. And all of these are free, by the way, as well for students. And then Lindergren Hall also houses our Physician's Assistant Program and the first year of our medical school. Moving on over, we have Lawson Hall, which is the lecture hall building. It's not college specific. I can guarantee that you'll have classes in there if you haven't taken your general education classes yet. On over again, we have Wren Hall, which is where our College of Business is at. And our College of Business is in the top 5% in the country, and our accounting program specifically is in the top 1%. So definitely check it out if you're a business student. And over there, we have WOM and Pulliam Hall, which are, together make up our College of Education and Human Services. They are connected together by an industrial breezeway that has glass blowing, blacksmithing, and ceramics. And we're the only school in the entire country that has blacksmithing master's and bachelor's degrees. Hi guys, welcome to this part of the tour. Um, we're gonna be talking about the Mass Comm Building, Life Science 2, Life Science 3, and then the Agriculture Building. So starting with the Mass Comm Building, um, it's gonna house majors such as cinema and photography. It's gonna house um, theater students and also gonna house journalism students. Um, a really cool thing that we have in the Mass Comm Building is the Daily Egyptian. So the Daily Egyptian is a student-ran newspaper. Um, so students actually get to put their work into that newspaper and then it's read by people around town. Um, students on campus also read that newspaper. Um, going over to the Life Science 2 building basically is going to house every major that ends in ology. So like psychology, zoology, biology, physiology, all that stuff is in Life Science 2. Um, Life Science 3 is going to be all those majors um, basically more for research though. So teachers are going to house research in Life Science 3 and then bring students in from those majors there. Um, we are a top tier research institution. So that means we're in the top 5% for all institutions in North America when it comes to research. And then the agriculture building is going to have stuff like ag business, horticulture, forestry, um, tourism, all that kind of stuff is in the agriculture building. We do have an SIU Farms too that is off campus, about 2,000 acres for those students to have class out there as well as have class in the agricultural building. 
It's sunny down here on the north end of Old Main. We have our final two buildings, including Woody Hall, which houses TRIO Support Services, Veterans Support Services, the Center for International Education, as well as the Study Abroad Office if you are ever interested. We also have Quigley Hall, which houses architecture, interior design, fashion design, and human nutrition and dietetics. What's really cool about Quigley is most students have 24-hour access to that building so they don't have to carry their projects to and from class. And a short distance down Grand Avenue behind me, we have the Student Rec Center, which is accessible to all students. We have an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a rock climbing wall, two basketball courts, and much more. You are also able to take exercise classes there as well if you would like. We also have the Health Center, which if you're feeling ill, is just a $10 fee at the door, and the Wall and Grand University Apartments. For our last stop on the tour today, we're taking you to one of my favorite places here, Saluki Row. Saluki Row is home to both the Banterra Center, where our men's and women's basketball teams play, as well as Saluki Stadium, which is where our SIU football team plays. All of the athletics here on campus compete in the NCAA Division I under the Missouri Valley Conference. I think one of the awesome things about SIU is the fact that the ability to go and attend these games is included in your student fees, so you can meet up with friends and go watch the games. But don't just listen to me. Take it from somebody who graduated from SIU and had to come back because he just didn't have enough of it. Current Saluki Hall of Fame head coach, Brian Mullins. What's up, future Salukis? This is Brian Mullins, the head men's basketball coach. And I just want to tell you a couple reasons why I had such a great experience as a student athlete here, and now why I love it even more coming back as a coach. SIU is an incredible school, and what makes it so special is this community and the student population and how much they support SIU athletics, the football games, the basketball games, the volleyball games, the baseball games. It's a complete community support from top to bottom and what makes it even more special is the dog pound and the student involvement and how much fun it is to go to the games. I'm telling you there's nothing else like it in the Midwest and I hope to see all you guys at future basketball games. Thank you so much for going on this virtual tour of campus today with us. We really hope you enjoyed it. For more information on how you too can become a Saluki, see the information below.